silicone grease. So finally, I'm getting to service this Honda Fit 2007 with 200,000 miles. One owner car. And as I mentioned in the forum, Fit Freak. I would smear it around maybe. Yeah. Yeah. As I mentioned in the forum, this car has a hesitation right at 60 miles an hour, 100 kilometers an hour. Blip, 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 blip. And the valves haven't been adjusted probably ever since this car was new. No, they haven't. Nope. Oil's been changed. They even overfill it. Wonder who changed the oil in it. What shop overfilled? Yeah, no good. So it's got this hesitation that's been getting worse. Now it has a hesitation, not just at 60, but it has a hesitation off idle. All right. Now, what did he say? Made in Japan, Beck Arnley, Amazon, everybody's favorite friend because the UPS man does all this work for you. Now, what did this fellow say? And there's a the little air hole event. Yeah. What did he say about not putting any in the boot or just putting it? He didn't really specify. No, he said, no, he said not, in the not in the boot, but that's the typical uh, spot for it. Um, so this is an original, possibly a Honda? Yep. This is a replacement made in Japan, Beck Arnley. Mm -hmm. CM11-10, 13321M period. This one is... Three one six eight one AWB. AWB. Hmm. Fifty five dollars each. Yeah. Maybe we'll get rid of that hesitation and stumble and shudder at sixty miles an hour. So no grease on the tip. That well, I mean, I I, sh I just was reading what you saw on the forum. Yeah, and he, it sounded like he didn't put any grease on. Well, he wrote and don't put any grease. Oh, I should get you some anti seize to put on the bolt that goes through the block. Well, I'm getting you a washer as well, so we don't. Here we go. Coil. Anti-seize. Yeah. Been, I've been here before. Been there, done that. <laughs> Give me a sec. I'm not sure that the spark could be traveling up or down or sideways. All right, we're on. We're online. We're live. Yeah. Not sounding too good. Stutter, 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 stutter. Right, take, take it off and try the second one, maybe? So we just replaced the one original coil. There are three new coils from a few months ago. We'll try to change another one. Maybe we should number where that one came from. Keep yeah. them all numbered. I don't know if it matters. Um, we keep track of it, at least. We'll just set them across yeah, the... Yeah, number one. Lucky it's not a V12, huh? <laughs> Crank that baby up. All right, so we just put in coil number two, and we put some dielectric grease and smothered it and covered it and lathered it and slathered it. Crank that baby up. Electric power steering. Same thing. Same thing. Same thing. Hmm. Somehow I feel we're on the wrong track, but we got two more to go. I guess we'll just change the other two. Where's right. coil number two that you removed? It's right here. Yeah. Swap out the other one. All we can do. Yeah, keep on changing them. It's not a V12 Jaguar. <laughs> With four carburetors or six carburetors. All right, coil number three. Why don't you lower the window so you don't have to yeah. open the door all the time and wear out the hinge. <laughs> uh, did we find the problem or not? It's discouraging when you've changed three. Aha! Uh -huh. Speaking of discouraging, <laughs> how do you like that? There it is, coil number three. Hey, it's like the price is right. Door number one, door number two, 
How do you like that? You can hear, you hear the alternator whistling. Oh, yeah. There's also a way to test it, but you can't do it on this. If you put a screwdriver on the bearing, you feel a magnetic pull, and it'll actually suck the uh, screwdriver or wrench in. Mm -hmm. How do you like that? So Bad this, coil. This is the coil. Bad coil. It doesn't have a, that's one of the new ones that you got, but it doesn't have a vent hole. Yeah. Like one of the other replacements that you bought all at the same time. And that vent hole might be keeping gas in there that builds up inside little particles. You're talking hundreds of thousands of millions of sparks. Jeez. Just think you would have brought it to Honda. $873.22. Well, that's a lot of money. Well, we take payments. Well, how about not charging me? Do it for free. What are they going to support a building and staff and OSHA? And that's yeah. what it sounds like. Does this guy drive by wire? There's no cable on this road. Yeah, they're all drive by wire. Crank that bit up! Yeah, baby! $55 fixed! <laughs> I won't even charge you for the grease that I found on the ground that had been run over. Found it in the middle of the driveway. And I won't charge you for the grease on the hood, but I'm going to have to charge you for the grease on the battery. They put uh, a brand new battery in for your mom last year. And the bolts are rusted. They don't even spray the bolts with a little bit of synthetic AMS oil spray grease. Batteries down, so it's too small for the. I mean, it doesn't really yeah, matter. but I always put the biggest. Like I told your dad, put bigger sized tires on this thing. Of little rinky dink tires. Yeah. I'm gonna have to charge you for grease on the door hinges too. I'm, I'm sorry, but I can't make a one-time exception. Oh come on! <laughs> I'll never forget that woman at the airport when our luggage is two pounds overweight. Two pounds overweight. Less than a kilo, and the woman beside me is 100 pounds overweight. Uh oh. There. All right. Reset that baby up. Douse it. Funny how it gets blocked once in a while. You're spraying and it just stops and it starts again. Grease on the hinges. <laughs> Yummy. I love it. Fix the problem. $55. So we take the other two coils out and put them back in the package and give them back so we didn't use them. Oh, I'll get turn the camera off. <laughs>